Here comes the first person shooter POV, and here comes the damage as well. 730,000, and I can use it again. I don't have to spend any skill point. I just use it. A million damage. Holy crud, Rapper might actually be insane. Hello, internet! And oh boy, today we have the rapper. Can I just say I'm actually really down for Rendus for her? She looks adorable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's relax here. You're about to take off. All right, enough horny though. Firstly, disclaimer everything you are from the creator experience server, so things are subject to change. And to start, here will be the text. Here's the skill, here's the ultimate, and here is the talent right here. And we got the technique. Now, I can't really show all of the basic ones. I have to blur some part out because there's some issues. But here are the basics though. And this will be the enhanced basic, which is her bread and butter. This will be the information on her like him, which as usual has insane main stat. That's crazy, actually. And on top of that, it's a lot more, you know, shenanigans going on. So it's a pretty good like out. Here are the major traits if you want to take a peek again. And here are the information on the eyelons that I will never obtain. On a rapper, you want a setup like this. Iron with Talia, it's really standard break DPS like setup, right? These are all the main stats and substats if you're wondering. And with all of that, we get the final stat of this 230 break effect, which is solid. We don't have any element of of damage because we probably don't need to. And reason number two is you actually need attack on her. At least 3.2k. I got 3.3 here. You want 3.2 to max out this bonus ability. It gets her more break damage if I have more attack, so yes. And enough yapping, finally. Today I'll show you the ultimate rapid team. And you'll be wondering first, why am I going to Forgotten Hall? Now, most people thought, oh, she's just gonna be a fodder for pure fiction, but no. Ladies and gentlemen, the strongest rapper team, and they are about to decimate this stage, I tell you. Yep, surprisingly, she could be really good even in MOC. Well, it's mostly because the enemy's weak to imaginary too, and the whole MOC boss buffing break, but you know what? I'll show you the pure fiction run later. But check this out, though. Yeah. Oh, I can do this all day. And yeah, with this, you're supposed to run over people. Oh, I love that. I do that every single Sunday. Right, to start, I knock them in with technique, right? The technique is pretty standard. You just like attack everyone with the element, which I managed to break three mobs. By breaking three mobs, I'm able to obtain three charges right here on Rappa. This effect is from her talent, which every charge you gain increases your break damage multiplier by a certain amount, and you can hold up to 10 of these. You will spend these if you use your enhanced basic, while on the contrary, you'll gain them every time you break anybody. For example, here we got Michael Jackson. I'm gonna use my E right here. Hopefully, I can break at least two. I only broke one, but yep, yeah, there we go. That's four now. We went from three to four. We'll dance with Michael Jackson, and we'll start with the super break rapper. And here we have our turn. Honestly, God, her E didn't really do too much. It's not too crazy here. Look at her face. It's so smug, dude. It's like you're onto something, man. Usually, just want to use a basic. I just need enough to get my ult, so that's what I'll do. I'll just touch you one time, and there we go. There's my ult. And I'm gonna break the one on the far right to gain one more stack on Rappa, which is how it works, right? And now finally, we can use her ultimate. She's a pretty simple character to use, if I'm being real. And dude, this angle though, are you kidding me? It is very attractive. And plus, this is probably the sickest animation I've ever seen. I actually dig this animation way more somehow than all of the other characters did. And yep, here is the first person POV. And this is when you're using the enhanced basic attack. The enhanced basic goes like this. If you break someone, you'll do a bunch of damage. That is mostly gonna be thanks to this, the ninja tech one that gets you increased rate damage for every stack of this you have. On top of that, well, you got a normal HMC and stuff, right? You'll do a bunch of super rate damage, and of course, by using this enhanced version of basic, you get to ignore weakness as well. But do note, though, every time after you finish your third hit right here, firstly, the damage, though, 800k, what the hell? Yeah, you thought she's ass? No, if the enemies are weak against her, dude, it's unstoppable. It's like a firefly that does better in AoE. But you notice as well, I only gained two charges back with the last hit because I broke two enemies, but I basically spent them all, and then got two back. I'm hoping it makes sense. But yeah, with that, I basically explained everything you gotta really know about her. That's all you really have to do. And here's where you'll notice some changes. With every other break character like Boot Hill and Firefly, you rarely get to ever spend skill point on anyone else. With Rappa, though, you don't gotta care. The enhanced basic doesn't cause any skill point, nor does it gain any, and it does do 100k damage if you break them. And if you're able to break and kill the enemies, you get your ult back again. So she's actually really skill point efficient. You pretty much need to spend, like, near zero skill point on the perfect run. However, though, the perfect run is heavily dependent on the enemy. Right now, the enemy has um, imaginary weakness still, except for the one in the middle, which is going to be a good showcase. But here at Michael Jackson again, we do have a lot of skill points, which you know I'm going to go and use it. Oh my, I'm going to break one elite, which if I break an elite, I actually gain double the charges on Rappa. And now that I have eight, I get 400% increased break damage and toughness reduction increases by eight. That is a lot of reduction, dude. Here comes the first person shooter POV, and here comes the damage as well. 730,000. And 
and I can use it again. And guess what? I just instantly get into the L. I get the action right away. I don't have to spend any skill point. I just use it. A million damage. Holy crud. Rapper might actually be insane. Well, I say that, but if you're astute, you realize, well, it's only because the enemy's like three elites that is easier to break than most other ones. So yeah, in exchange for being pretty much cheap to use in terms of skill points, she cannot really be that versatile though. Like the enemy has to be weak against imaginary or at least some of them needs to, or else it's gonna be a bit harder because you shred their weakness at a lower rate, right? If you're trying to utilize the ignore weakness. But either way, that is enough basically. That's all that she does. It is now time for us to just enjoy the gameplay. And here we go again. First hit, second hit with the AOE and 900k. I think we can zero cycle guys. Right, I think I gotta go by E and that's how we zero cycle this. Yep, we can. You thought she was just pure fiction Father hell, that did really 2%. Oh man, I could have zero cycled this so easily. Oh, unfortunate. But yeah, you can tell that was not hard at all. I was dunking like 1.7 million damage easy. However, this is where I'm just gonna be honest as well. I have tried her if the enemy's off element, right? If they're totally off element or if they're more single target based, of course, Rappa's not gonna be as prominent. And if you don't break anyone, just like with Boot Hill, just like with Firefly, they will not do too much damage, right? But against the right enemy in the right setup, dude, she is unstoppable. No, that's almost stronger than even Firefly, in my opinion. But you know what? We're done with that. It is time for us to visit Pure Fiction. A lot of people are speculating that this is where she would shine the most, right? And well, guess what? Let's give it a shot. This will be a decent showcase as well because not everyone's weak to imaginary, so you're gonna get some mobs just not being broken and taking no damage or taking not enough damage for the death. And yeah, let's take a look. Time to get Isekai. Right, now for this mode, it should be pretty predictable what's gonna happen. Let's jump with the Michael Jackson. And here we have the 2D anime waifu Eminem. Go with the basic. I just need the ultimate, right? So go and do that. And now with Ron May. And yep, damage imminent. This is only from the physicality, so it's not even Rapper yet, but here we're Rapper, though, in full force, basically. Let's go. It's time to play some first-person shooting. Damage-wise, it would look ridiculous, right? Yep, 400k. It's practically like a Firefly nuke. And here we're Link Shot, which is going to be a Firefly in this case. Yep, let's go and use an E. If I break them, it will literally just, like, take, what, 300k damage right here? Bang. Okay, not even close, but full yet. Gonna make up for it, though. Yep, that's gonna be the whole vibes of it, right? It's not gonna be too unpredictable. You just do a bunch of damage every time she moves. Yeah, we have you again. We got a lot of skill points, so let's go and use them. We don't gotta save no nothing. And now we got our ninja again. Here is where they don't have the weakness, and you realize the amount that I can reduce on them are not a lot. I have seven charges, so this is a lot of, like, weakness efficiency and all. Speaking of which, I kind of forgot to mention, but yes, after you use your ulti, you get your seal form state for basically three turns. Yeah, you get three enhanced basic. When this happens, you get more, like, Weakness, free efficiency, break effect, all of that, right? I'm sure it's not that hard to understand this one. If you reduce someone's weakness that's not, like, on element, though, yes, you can, but it's gonna be reduced, right? Just, like, practically every other character, but still, you just have to break them. If you do, 200, 300k, no problem. And as expected, like, of a pure fiction character, every time she takes a turn, probably half the wave at least will die. And you're in a final turn with your Ningu. Go with a Q, 1, 2, and 3 with the AoE, 300k dealt. I have my ult again. Instantly, I'm gonna chain into it. If you can make her ult a lot, you can practically just have zero action taken, and it's only gonna be her, no? Use your enhanced basic, you ult again once you have it. It's not gonna be zero, but it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna look sick, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, you notice though, if the enemy's on element, I'm breaking them for sure, but if they're not, they're gonna survive sometimes. And if they do, you're not just gonna one-shot, right? You gotta break them for the one-shot. Pretty understandable. It should be the end of wave two. We're gonna do a bunch of damage here, 250, no problem. How did I not kill you? I will never know. What the? And here we have Rappa again. I didn't even point this out, but yeah, after using two basics, you get 50% action advance. That is for Lyco, which, well, overall, you just get more turns. No one hates that. And now we have the final phase. Let's go ahead and use your all into the Ningu. And oh boy, if I can break them, you know what? Let's try and break them first. We'll go with the Fu Yuan. Or rather, the Ling Shot ulti right there. And it is time. Do some Dama J, my ninja, and bank 630. Yep. <laughs> This would be like the fastest last phase we've ever seen. She excels with like there's a lot of enemies that's weak to um imaginary for sure, right? So in this phase, I think half of them will be on element. So yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Yeah, we're wrap up again. I don't need to use my E at all, right? That's why she's really efficient. Cause if you play her right against the right enemies and you kill them, you will always get enough energy to just use a basic again. But for this time, though, you know what? Let's just showcase it, right? What the E looks like. Bang. Yep, looks like that. And you do some damage if they're broken for sure. Oh, well, back to me. You know. We got eight stacks of ninja tech, so 400% break multiplier. This should. It might be a million damage if I can break everyone, but I don't think I can, though, so 
Yep, nearly a million. Not quite so exactly. We then go. We should be able to clear all the mobs that doesn't have a magic weakness. And yeah, there we go. We're using Link Shot as a gosh darn DPS, dude. And yeah, just like that, we should have you now. The final ulti to get free in the turn again. And with the final Ningu, you should die easily. In fact, I think you just die here now. Ah, oh, you down. Oh, this is where you definitely die, huh? First person shooter, baby. This is Valorant. Duh. What? Why are you alive, man? And just like that, that was a full clear, right? So pretty easily and convincing at that. As expected, she's really good in pure fiction if the enemy has imaginary weakness, right? The moment you don't, though, your efficiency basically dips, and that just directly means her damage will get lower as well. However, though, as I've showcased, if you pair against the right enemies with the right team, she is insanely broken in terms of damage output. At the same time, you pretty much never have to spend a skill point on her. She can't really earn your skill points that well, but you don't have to spend any on her either as well. But in exchange, though, she can't really plant a weakness like her peers could in terms of, you know, break DPS. Firefly could land a fire weakness. Uh, Boonhill could land a physical weakness. But Rappa, she can't put a weakness on them, but she can't ignore them. Although your efficiency dips, though. So it's like a plus and minus thing. To conclude, should you be pulling for Rappa? Well, uh, firstly, I'll say, if you do decide to pull on Rappa, I actually heavily recommend this like out. It's a lot of um stats for you. And it gets you freaking action value as well. It's really good. Although E1 is not bad, but you don't really need this like she can still work without it. However, the question is, should you be fooling for her though? I will straight up say she's not a needed character for sure. Like, if I have a Firefly in the same setup, I still clear everything one zero to one cycle for sure. In pure fiction though, Rappa is definitely better than Firefly. But in pure fiction, you could just use her to Himiko. So do you have a need for Rappa? Probably not. But can you pull her if you love Rappa like I do? Heck yeah. She's too adorable. I like her vibe. I'm gonna pull for her. Right, final conclusion though, no. I don't think Rappa will be like the S plus tier character. Her best scenario might actually be S plus tier, but there are definitely, you know, issues, right? If she's facing enemy outside of the element, she'll struggle a little bit more. I like say an Akron that just kills everything anyway. And yeah, that will be all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and take care.